Increment readings. Let's continue with the supplemental course, the pleasurable expansion. Now it's time for the common. On the element parameters, you have comments. Fault doesn't cover that specifically. We have seen a glimpse of that. If you remember, in previous videos, we have seen the, some tasks that aid the task uh, on the video by the titles. Yeah, the title can behave in different way than the description, or I get a description the same as the title, gets renamed synchronously, and so on. So, for tasks, that was the description. But you also have comments. And this is not unique to tasks, can be anything. This actually comes from a registry. So here, even if it's seen like a, another element parameter, it's not. It's another registry, like we have template registries and so on. And it's called the common registry. Comment. I only have four. So that's the dummy I need for a different video. Course, daily, and links. So this is how I use it, by the way. It's not it's a repurpose, by the way. So those are all of the topics that they have the common links. The, type, the comments just says links. I can see, for instance, that, okay, it's the C also. And I have those links here. Nice. Daily are what I want to do every single day. I actually have these on record. Is this a strategy? How to quickly get topics you want to read daily in Super Memo, regardless of anything. Remember, we have seen the A factor, all of that, without touching anything. You will see that. Okay. Then when is this is useful? Let me share one example from Was. So he has this. Are units dependent on the X recompile case? Pa, 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 pa. The question is this. Are units dependent on the unit X recompiled in case its implementation part was modified? It's something about coding, about one programming language, it is old. And now the comment says, are they true? in Mortland Pascal 1992. It's like extra information. It's not in the article, if it's an item, it's not in the question or the answer. It's extra information and perhaps it's for yourself, for your future self. That, oh, what I created this item. So in the comment you could say, hey, this was recommended to me by this person, by John. That will be the case. So, hey, I import this. I imported this article, let's say. Let me change the template. So I imported this article about artificial intelligence can re re revolutionize science. Is, oh yeah, that's not my cup of tea. What it can do is on the um, element parameters. This was suggested or recommended by my friend John. Or like Piotr Vosnet did, uh, that especially in computer science, I guess, that something changes in time and so on, you can have a, an extra piece of information here. And then since it's uh, are linking, so at the end of the day, this, it's linking a common registry member, you can actually filter that. So I can see all of the comments I have in my collection. And if you use conventions, you will see all of the elements using the same precise comment. This is especially useful if you work with knowledge that has like a, dead, a deadline, that it will expire, it becomes outdated. Oh, this is no longer true because in the version 2.5, this was introduced and now it's different. So it's something that you will use scarcely, but it's like a footnote. It's, it comes in handy. And if you check the video I linked, you have this strategy for your own convenience to do subsets. We will do how to do subsets in, uh, in the next sections. And remember, for tasks, especially for tasks, the common is from the actual registry and is different from the description. This is a property of the task element. Doesn't have any registry at all. One last thing. You have here the, the text. I call it test. It will appear in my registry now. You can delete this. 
straight away, delete this member, here you go, and then it becomes deleted. What I can do instead, a more clean way, now that it's set again, is the following. I go to the registry, common, and let's see how many uh, I have. Oh, only this one. Let me go there. It's this, and now I get rid of the common. This is more clean. The only difference is that if you prefer the first option I did, to get rid of the common from the registry, you will need to rebuild and you will get a lot of warnings. One warning per element. That depends on you. Uh, as a rule of thumb, basically, is the uh, following. Then you only have one or four. Okay, you can do it manually if you want. Then you have a lot, like 73. Yeah, I just get rid of this. That I no longer want this convention or whatever. You can just straight delete that. You're not deleting the elements, only the link with the elements through this comment. And if you hold this convention, let's say daily, this one, eventually when I'm done with all of this, let's say I'm not done already, um, what I will do is that I will delete this manually now. Because from now on, I don't want to follow this convention to see this daily. So I just delete the comment. So next time that I go again to my comment registry, to start a subset, it won't be there. And if it happens that it's the last topic that I remove the daily comment, then it will just disappear from the comment registry. As easy as that. That's all you need to know about comments for elements in SuperMemo. See you in the next video.